So allegedly, the Utah Jazz want multiple first round picks for their players. And supposedly they're close to trading Boyan Bogdanovich. They want first round picks from Leek Beasley, Jordan Clarkson, Boyan Bogdanovich, and Mike Conley. And I think they want a first round pick for each one individually. So they want four first round picks. And supposedly Mills throws low to Conley, who had loads off room to run for the first. And like, what I'm trying to say right there is nothing. I just read something completely wrong as a football tweet. But what I was trying to say is Boyan and Jordan Clarkson and Mike Conley all are guys that are able to still have an effective role on teams. Boyan's a little bit of a rental. I think Boyan's a little bit harder to get first round pick, but I think you can definitely get one from Clarkson. May, I think Boyan and Conley are guys you're going to get protected first for, but I think you get unprotected for Clarkson and you can get an unprotected for potentially our man Malik Beasley. But when you look at this right now, I just think the problem with this is you got to look at teams who we get. I think the Suns are a good team to look for Boyan. Jordan Clarkson, it's a team that needs scoring off the bench. And there's a plethora of teams that could need scoring off the bench. But my whole thing, when you look at that, which team is is that, okay? Because I look at all the NBA teams on a whole, and it just, for me, you got to think of a team that's, like Milwaukee would love Jordan Clarkson, but they, they can't get him. I think that would be a very far-fetched deal for them. They would have to give up too much in terms of making the salary works. I would love to see Dallas go out and get themselves either Mike Conley or Jordan Clarkson. I think Mike Conley or Jordan Clarkson would be perfect for there, but they would have to probably package like Davis Bertans and Dwight Powell, which are two contracts that I don't know if the, if the Jazz would want it. If they offer the picks, maybe they can get around that, but you gotta look at expiring deals. And that's the big one where Dwight Powell, you can move him definitely. I don't think they would move Reggie Bullock. I like. I think they like his fit. And after that, Davis Bertans is the only guy that I could see them moving. If they do that right there, that's 27 million. They could theoretically get themselves, if they package Dwight Powell, Davis Bertans, two first round picks, ask them for Malik Beasley and Jordan Clarkson, they could do that. If not, they could only get themselves probably Rudy Gay and Mike Conley in a deal for two first round picks, maybe just one first round pick. If you do one first round pick, Davis Bertans, Dwight Powell for Mike Conley and Rudy Gay, that's a good deal. Maybe two first round picks, Davis Bertans, Dwight Powell for Beasley and Clarkson. I like the Conley, Rudy Gay deal better in this one right there. This is all theoretical, talking out my ass, looking at teams that could. Boyan, I think there's a plethora of teams out there, the Suns, the Lakers, the Heat, the Grizzlies, a lot of teams out there that could use them. But when you look at the Mavs, they're going to look at the guards there. And I would love to think the Wizards would do something, but I think they're done making moves right now. The Trailblazers could go out there and look at Conley, but I think that doesn't fit either. I think Beasley could fit for them, but they don't have the contracts to move right there. And the Raptors, I think Conley's the only one they could be interested in. And again, the salaries and the roster space doesn't work fully. And... I think this is where it becomes a bit interesting because you got to look at which teams have the most cap space because you know Indiana, San Antonio, Detroit isn't going to do anything but could Charlotte go out there and get themselves Mike Conley? Could they and it's not going to be Gordon Hayward. They can't trade Gordon Hayward, but could they mix, you know, a combination of Kelly Oubre, Mason Plumley, that's 8 million, 20 million right there and maybe they throw in PJ Washington, that's 25. They can get themselves and may throw another guy in there. They can get themselves Mike Conley and Rudy Gay, which would be a good help for them. And Memphis, I could see them getting themselves Boyan, or if they really need scoring, but I think they have Ty, you know, Tyus Jones. So Jordan Clarkson wouldn't be in there. Well, like Boyan could go to, to a team like Memphis. Now, Sacramento, I could see them coming out of left field and trying to get themselves Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley fits really well there. I mean, the the world is their oyster in, in terms of what they could do. I just think it's it's a bit interesting seeing what they might and can do because this is a team that I think we all know has just 
I don't want to say struggled, but it's almost like they haven't had nearly. Is it Danny Ainge just taking his time and being methodical? Probably, because that's just what Danny Ainge does, and we're we've kind of became you know accustomed to it. So I don't know. I want to hear your guys' thoughts here. What do you guys think of this situation? Is this something that you guys were expecting? For this to be kind of like a drawn out process like it's been this entire time which i mean i knew it was going to happen because if you saw what happened in boston it was inevitable because this is how he does business but it is just interesting how long it actually has taken for this all to play out and it leaves me intrigued to see what potentially could be the future with all this so i want to hear your thoughts down below i hope you guys did enjoy today's video little long ones but i think they were well deserved okay and i think we did a good job on them i'm i'm still editing this last video while you guys are here but we're about to wrap this up so have a great day guys until next time we're gonna also go check out the nfl and the nba show nba show but we haven't have nfl channel.